Hey guys, in the last video, I made it so that we could add to dos to our list here. Um, we want to do the edit and delete, but one thing I forgot is the view page. Okay, we're going to want to view because right here we can't see all the fields. We can't see the description, we can't see the priority. So we're going to go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go to our controller, our to do controller, and then go to de uh, yeah, details action. And all we need to do here is fetch, uh, we want to fetch the single to do. So it's going to be similar to what we did up here in the list. So I'm going to just I'm going to grab this whole thing actually. And then let's see, we'll just paste that in here. And let's change this to details. And then this is going to be a single to do. All right, and then this is going to be a single to do. And we want all this, except we want to change find all to just find, and then we want to pass in the ID. All right, so let's save that. And now we're going to open up the details view. And this page isn't going to be too complicated. Uh, let's put a link that's going to go back to the index page. So it's going to go to just slash, and we'll say back to to-dos. And then let's put an HR. Let's actually make that a button. All right, let's make sure we don't have any errors or anything. OK, good. So next thing, let's put an H2. Okay, this is going to be the actual um, to do name. So we should just be able to say to do dot name. Pick up kids, good. If we go back, meeting with team view, there we go. Okay, next thing, let's do a UL and let's give it a class of list group. And li, it's going to have a class of list group item. And let's make this category okay, then we'll do another one for priority. that let's do our description oh we need a due date as well and let's put that in strong tags What's this? Date time could not be converted to string. No problem. We're just going to say date. And let's copy the formatting from the index, not that index, which is this right here. I'm just going to grab that. There we go. All right, so that's our to do. So back to to-dos, now what we want to be able to do is edit, all right? So for edit, the edit view is going to be the same, really, as the add view. So, I mean, the create view. So let's grab that and put that right in there. And I'm just going to change this to edit to-do. So that'll be the same. So we'll save that. And then back in the controller, in the edit action, uh, I'm going to actually copy what we have here. 
Actually, let's copy this whole thing. Paste it here. And we're going to change this to edit. That's going to get the to do that's passed in through here, through the ID. And then we're going to go up to the create action and we're going to want what are we going to want? All of this. Yeah, we're going to want all that. And we're going to put that right in between these two. Okay, and then we have some changes to make. We actually don't want this because it's not a new to do. It's going to come from he from this one here. So we can get rid of that. And then let's check when it's submitted. We're going to get all the data from the form. That's going to stay the same. Now this, we're going to want this up here as well because when the form's displayed, we want whatever's there in the database to show. So we're going to put that up here as well. Put it right here. All right. Now we're not going to need persist. And then this line here, I'm going to move that. I'm going to move that up above here. All right, and then we're going to say to do. Uh, we're going to say to do equals em get repository. At bundle to do and then find ID all right so I think that that should work and then let's say to do updated okay so let's save that and go to an edit undefined variable name What? Where? Uh, let's see. Let's go see the edit. No, that's fine. Name equals form. Oh. Oh, okay, right here. We didn't set these. These should actually be coming from the to do. So we're going to go like that to all of these. Due date. Oh, and then this we don't want now. We'll say set create date to Oh, actually you know what let's keep that now we'll keep it as updated and then yeah let's try that cannot access private property name what to do set name Oh, these have to be um, functions. We have to add the parentheses. Okay, another error. Undefined. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Brain fire. This should be get. These should be all of. These should be getters. So we need get category, get description, and then this one, 
that's not going to work. We're going to need get due date. All right. Hopefully that's the last error. Nope. <laughs> Undefined variable now. Okay, so we just need to take that and actually we'll keep that and also put it up here. Variable form does not exist in edit. Did I not pass it through? I didn't. So down here, we're going to pass in form. OK, next error. <laughs> An exception has been thrown during the rendering of a template. Must be an instance. Oh, same thing I did before. We need to create view instead of just form. I don't think we need to pass anything in, but we'll find out. There we go, finally. So you can see that the, the info is all there. All right, so that's good. Um, so let's update this. Let's say call client, and then we'll put the client's name, we'll say John Doe. All right, so we'll say I have to call John. Call client John Doe. Let's view it. And I have to call John. Awesome. One thing I do want to do though is in the edit form, it says create to do. I'm going to change that. So let's go to, actually, let's go right where we are and just change this right here to update to do. All right. So sorry about that. We had quite a few issues there, but uh, they got worked out. So that's good. Um, yeah, last thing we need to do is just be able to delete these these things. All right, so we have our delete action down here, or do we? No, we don't. All right, so let's create that. I'm going to copy this whole details action. And we want to change our little thing here to uh, to do slash delete. All right, and then we'll change this to delete. And let's grab, I want this right here, this EM and then the find query. And we're gonna just get, actually, you know what, we don't need any of this. Let's paste that in there, because delete doesn't have its own view. All right, and then we should just be able to say em uh, remove, and we want to pass in here to do, and then we'll do our flush. All right, and then we'll just do our add flash and then redirect, just like this. We'll change this to to do removed and return to the to do list. Perfect. So let's save that. Hopefully this works out. Okay, so let's see. Delete. Perfect. Oh, you know what? One thing though, we're not seeing the messages. So what we'll do is let's go to our base HTML. And we're going to go right above the body block. All right, and let's add some code here. We want our percents. And then we're going to say this is going to be a for loop. So for flash message in app dot session dot uh, flash, I think it's flash bag dot get and then the type which is going to be notice and 
then we want to do our end. Oops. All right, and then in here, let's put in flash message. All right, so I just want to test it out. So what I'm going to do is go to my delete action here and I don't want to keep deleting things because I just want to test it so I'm going to just get rid of this for now whoops I don't, I don't want to get rid of that I just don't want it to actually delete so let's reload whoa so if I click delete to do removed okay and if we want to make that look a little better we can add a div around it Let's say alert, alert. Uh, do we want? No, we want. Don't want danger. We want success. Okay. Let's try that. Awesome. All right. And if you do want an error message, if you want to output an error message, you could do the same thing and just change notice to error. So right here, you could just change that to error. And then you can change this to danger. All right, awesome. So now let's just put that delete back and we should be good to go. Uh, or not, the block body has already been defined. Oh, we don't want that twice. Okay, so we've created a complete CRUD application using Symphony 3. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little course. And always, if you can leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you can, that would be really appreciated. And um, I'll see you next time.